Hi, greetings everyone. Welcome back. In this tutorial uh, session, we shall uh, add menu in the navigation bar. So this is the website and this is uh, our work site. So what we are going to do is we want to add menus here in this uh, navigation bar or the menu bar. So we go to our work site. Like I said earlier in the previous videos, uh, the work site is where you do the work and the website is the work you have done. You know, the, uh, the work you have done, how it displays on the web. All right. So right now we see that home, home is the only uh, menu in this bar. So what we are going to do is to add other menus. Uh, in a typical class, let me say in a typical class, we, of course, we want the home, which is the home page. We want to, we want the course syllabus. We want to make sure that our students uh, receive their course syllabus. So what we want to do is to add the course syllabus and we want to add our lessons. We want to add our tests, uh, any quizzes or assignments. Uh, we also want to add some useful websites and then we have to have a contact we will have a contact so let's go to uh let's go to the one i did earlier on initially and see what we have okay this this is the video uh, re resources yeah so this is kind of what we want to have you know, cost labels, math lessons, uh, under math work, we have assignments, quizzes, math projects gallery, math projects slideshows, then the, we have the useful size, and then the contact. And it differs, you know, you just add whichever one that suits your class. Okay, so we go to pages. We want to go to pages, and the next thing we want to have is the cost labels. So what we just do, we click on add page and we want a standard page and on that standard page we just have a course syllabus, we name it. Okay. And we, we don't want, if you want to password protect the page, you check this box. Yeah, if you want to hide the page in the nav menu you check this box but we don't want that okay we just say save and edit and so it brings it up cost syllabus so we the next one we want to add a uh, math lessons so we go to add page new uh, add page standard page math lessons Save and edit. Then the next one is the map walk pages, add page, standard page, map walk, save and edit. Okay, uh, like I initially said in the previous video. When we go to, if we add another thing here, it's going to uh, uh, be more than the width, the width of this na navigation bar. So it's, go it's going to say more. Let's try it. Let me show you what I mean. Add page, standard page. And if we say useful sites, useful websites, save and edit. Okay, you see now it says more, and when you point your mouse at more, it says math work, useful size. So this tells us that it comes up to more because the uh, because the the what we are adding the me the menu the menus that we are adding uh, the pages that we are adding are more than the way designed for it. So 
what we want to do now is we kind of want to uh, have sub pages okay in this case we want to have sub pages rather than just uh, rather than making everything a page so and it comes up to more because of this in the settings in the settings when you have this navigation group access page is under more right so that's why it comes up to more yeah now if you see what we did now we when, when you uncheck this group access page is under more and you go back to the site if you go back to the site you'll see uh, You see that the uh, is it, it doesn't appear nice. It doesn't appear in it. So we still leave it at that. Group access page is under more, and we go back to the site. Okay. And we still see the more so what we want to do now is to have some uh sub pages so like the mat work we want it here uh, we, we we want the mat work to be the main page and we probably want uh, the we, we we can call it mat work or we can call it mat documents okay and we probably want to put the cost labels and math lessons under it so what we want to do is we go to pages here uh, we can say math documents so let's go ahead add page standard page math documents save and edit but that means we will delete the math work we go back to pages uh, the math work we can delete it and how do we delete a page we just click it and we just when we click on it we just say delete page it says are you sure you want to delete this page yes delete page so now this math documents we want it to be after home okay let's say we want it to be after home so all we need to do is we hold it and we just hold and drag up to home okay and if you want to see it here you see it's now under the home page so we want to drag the cost labels to be under math documents and we also want to drag the math lessons to be under math documents so we go back to our pages and then this cost labels under math documents we just hold and drag it a bit so that there will be a space here you see this space here uh, so that it is not in uh, the left hand side is not the right hand side is in line with the right hand side of the math documents but the left hand side is not in line there is a little uh, gap here so this is a sub page this tells you that it is a sub page cost labels is a sub page under the math documents the same thing with math lessons you can hold and drag just hold and drag so math lessons is also is a, uh, a sub page under the math documents and when you just finish that you click on save and edit so you see now when we now point our math documents we see the cost labels and the math lessons are now here so we still have one more page to add here yeah we can adding sub pages is really really good as in it saves you uh, a lot of uh, menu uh, menus on the menu items yeah it saves you that now uh we can add another one here like i mentioned earlier uh one there are there are four things that are basic to any web page okay you should have the home page you should have the uh, the title of the of the site the 
title of the site site title you should have a site description what this site is about uh, you should have a a contact as well an introduction and a contact so we have the home page we have the site title and description we have a welcome uh, welcome greeting or introduction and then we have a contact page yeah these are four basic things to any website so uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, add another page which is now the contact page and we go to pages we click on add page standard page and we call it contact and we click save and edit so there it is so we we can also add mad quizzes under this um or assignments uh, and I, I i want to also show you how we can add a sub sub page okay a sub sub page so let's go to pages let's add a standard page again let's call it a uh, we can say mat walk we can say mat walk here and of course it's going to appear as more so we want to go back we now drag this mat walk here hold and drag and then under this mat walk we want uh, we want to add uh, quiz, uh, assignments and quizzes to be under the mat walk that is like a sub sub page okay another page under the sub page so we go to add page uh, we can say assignments we save it and then add another one quizzes save and edit so go back to pages uh, assignments we want it under mat work so we hold and drag it up to here and then the quizzes we want it under mat work again we hold and drag it up to here yeah so uh, you hold and drag it such that there is a space a space on the left hand side okay and once you finish you just click save and edit and we kind of see it here when we point at mat documents you see this arrow tells you that there are still some more okay there are some uh, pop up from here this tells you that this is a continuation there are still more pages this arrow tells you there are still more pages under this page so you say it thank you so much for listening to this tutor tutorial video and please watch out for the other ones now before we go we know what to do right whenever we finish doing work on our work site we go to publish we hit publish And then website published if we want to see our website we can either click directly on this or we can go to this this is our website already samuelchukwemeka.weebly.com and we just click refresh yeah we can either click on this directly or we go to this and we just click refresh and when we refresh it this is our website see all right i'll see you in the next videos thank you